In today's After Effects tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this simple yet cool kinetic typography animation that would make for a stunning intro. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now that we have After Effects opened up, let's go ahead and create a new composition and we'll give this a name. Let's go ahead and name it Typography. We'll keep the default settings and click OK. To type out our text, let's come up here to the text tool. And if your text has more than one word, make sure that all words are their own text layer. Okay, once your text is typed out, what I like to do is come down here to the timeline and arrange the text so that the text is in the same order as which it is in your composition. If your text has different variants, so in this case, Montserrat has black, extra bold, and bold, feel free to use these so that you have some variance in your overall composition. Now let's align both layers to center. And what I like to have is for kinetic to be the same width as typography. So for that, let's come down here to character, increase the text size to 270 pixels, and then increase the tracking to 200. Now if we align this to center, notice that kinetic is of the same width as typography. And now to adjust the positioning of our words, click on a text layer, click P for position, and adjust your position by adjusting the Y values. Now one last thing before we begin to animate, we need to make sure that our anchor point is right in the center as this will help us with our scale animation that we'll do later in this tutorial. So what we need to do is up here at the anchor point tool, hold down control and double click and now the anchor point is right in the center. Rinse and repeat for typography. Now let's begin to animate by starting off with the word kinetic, create a position keyframe at the beginning and then jump to 15 frames in time to create a second keyframe. Return to the first keyframe and drag your word all the way off to the left hand side. And now here's what we've got. Notice that the animation is linear and doesn't have a whole lot of life to it. So what we can do here is select both keyframes, right click, easy ease, then open up the graph editor, bring your handles all the way inwards. And so now there'll be a little bit of a pop to our animation. And now I'd like for our second word to come from underneath the top word. So to do that with your typography layer selected, let's come up here to the rectangle tool. And we are going to draw a rectangle around typography. And now with our text layer selected, what this does is that it actually creates a mask for our text. We're just gonna make sure that the top of our rectangle is just underneath the word kinetic. And now open up typography next door to text. You see the word animate, click on the circle. We're going to add a position attribute to this text layer. Create a keyframe at 15 seconds and create a second keyframe at one second in. Return to the first keyframe and then drag your text so that it comes from underneath the first word. Select both keyframes, easy ease, and we're gonna do the same exact thing that we did with the word kinetic. So knowing that I like to have rotation in this animation as well, we're gonna to jump to 115 in time to add our scale animation to both our text layers. So with both text layers selected, click S to open up the scale properties. And we're going to begin with the word typography, so create a keyframe at 115 and two seconds in time. Return the first keyframe and we're going to decrease the scale value to 80. And then select both keyframes, easy ease, and bring the handles inwards. And now at two seconds in time, we're gonna create a keyframe for kinetic, jump to 215, create an additional keyframe, return to the first keyframe, 80%, and the same thing we did on the previous layer. And now I'd like for the text to leave the composition at the exact same time. So to do that, select both your text layers, click P for position, and we're gonna create a position keyframe for both layers at three seconds in time, and then jump to 315 and create an additional keyframe. Let's begin by animating the word typography. So all we're gonna do here is drag typography all the way to the right hand side so it's off the composition. Then select both keyframes, 
easy ease. Bring the handles inwards. Then for the word kinetic, we're gonna have it leave the composition going all the way to the left. Then select both keyframes. Since they're already easy ease, we can just open up the graph editor and just drag the handles inwards. Now to add rotation to our entire composition, to do that, what we'll do, close up our text layers, right click, new, null object, select both your text layers, and then this tool here is called the pick whip tool. You're going to click and drag so that both layers are applied to the null object. With your null object selected, click R for rotation, create a keyframe at one second, and then jump to 115 to create an additional keyframe. Return to the first keyframe, and we're going to set this value to negative 20. Select both keyframes, and the same drill that we had earlier. And now we'll add two more rotation keyframes at 215, and at three seconds in time. And now set your final keyframe here to positive 20. Select both keyframes, open up the graph editor, and bring the handles inwards. So now here's what our animation looks like. And then one final thing you can do is you can turn off your default background here, and then we're gonna come over here to effects and presets, search up drop shadow, and then apply this to our kinetic text layer. We'll increase the distance to 15. Also increase the opacity to 100%. And then we'll up the softness to say five. And right click, copy, and we'll add that to our typography layer as well. Let's come right here at the end where the animation ends. Select all of your layers. And then click Alt, end bracket. And it's going to cut off our layers right there. And then finally, we're just gonna drag our work end area to the end of our composition as well. One last thing we're gonna do is add motion blur to both our text layers. And so now here's what we have. And so now to export this so it has a transparent background, what we're gonna do, come up here to composition, add to render queue. And with the render queue open, we're gonna click on the output module. We're gonna keep it at quick time, but channels, alpha. Click okay, and then go ahead and render out. Once again, thank you very much for sticking around to the end. If you haven't done so already, please help this video out by dropping a like, and let me know in the comments below what kind of video you'd like to see me make next. In addition, don't forget to subscribe so that I'll be sure to see you in the next one. And with that said, have a good one.